Welcome to Wellington Hills Station, which is this classic octagonal shaped building, which is pretty much a very visible landmark here in Belmont. Sitting right now near the underpass at 2 Common Street, actually included in the historic district. So we want to talk a little bit about the history of the building. A lot of people drive by and walk by all the time, but don't have any idea as to how to connect to the history. So today, we're going to talk about earliest beginnings. It was built as a schoolhouse, then it was used as a railroad station, and then a summer house. So it was built as a one-room schoolhouse by Mr. Samuel Orlando Mead, and he married a daughter of the Wellingtons, so the Mead Wellington children went to school here. So during that time, one-room schoolhouses is how, in these rural communities, how people were educated in these kinds of settings. So that was the original purpose of, of this building, and it was on his estate. He owned a, a large estate here. We typically know as the Underwood Estate. When they outgrew this station, they replaced it with a bigger station. So Mr. Mead bought it back from the railroad and brought it back to his property. So during these years, it was part of his property and it was used by the family as a summer house and art studio. So the paintings that you're gonna see were painted by members of the family. And they've been held by the family for years and years in storage, you know, squirreled here in the attic in a closet. So these are some of the actual paintings that were painted by different members of the family in the building. In 1974, a member of the family, Florence Wellington, donated it to the Belmont Historical Society. And we have a whole poster board showing the building being moved from there down Common Street and then finding it's a, a setting here. So I have no idea how many people come up to us or walk by and say, I've lived here for years and I've never been inside. 